What do you do here? Here I am a social worker. Okay. Um, we do therapeutic programs. We do counseling. Okay. We restore the relationship between the family and the offenders. Okay. And uh, how long have you been working here? Here now is seven years. Seven years. And uh, you are a father of? Of two children. Uh, girls, boys? Only boys. Only boys. Yeah. <coughs> you love your boys? Yeah, I love. How's the how's the relationship with, with your boys? No, we are so so close. Like I spend most of the time with them yeah. than their mother. Okay. Yeah. Do you live with them? Yeah, I live okay. with them. And uh, how is it how is it for you as a father to have this responsibility of having to come and look after uh, fathers in, in, in the center? Yeah, you know, it's a little bit challenging. Yeah. They say to be honest with you, in Maria Guri, Sometimes we share the similar challenges yeah. with them yeah. while we are raising our children. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when they come to you here as a social worker asking for need or help concerning the challenges that they are expressing with their fathers whom are giving their mothers challenges at home mm -hmm. because they call, they phone them or something, they come, they share, they express with them that now I have a teenage child or I have a child, I have a child was giving this and this problem to me. Mm. So to me, when I'm rendering my therapeutic session, and then at the end of the day, what comes in my mind is that I don't want my child to be like that. So mm. it makes me to be closer to my children. I become secure mm. in everything. So that's mm. the other challenges. Because remember, they are parents. I am a parent. Mm. And when we share a similar thing or the same thing, I become worried. Mm. But now the mother outside there, she's dealing with these challenges alone. Mm. While I, I, I sometimes I account some such, such, certain challenges, and then I am with my wife. Mm. So I feel sometimes I feel pity for them. Mm. I feel sorry for them. But what can we say? Mm. We have to do our job. Sure. I can I can imagine how 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 difficult it must be for you as a father to to. To, to, to sense the pain of other fathers of not being able to see their kids mm. because they're serving uh, time. But what is, what, is, what, is, what is the one thing that you, you, you always encourage them about whilst they're still in, 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 in prison serving time okay. as fathers? Yeah, sometimes yeah. they must always make phone calls mm. to their children mm. and then they must alert their children of their way about. Remember, here yeah, some of them, remember they are different. Mm -hmm. We have offenders, those who don't want their children to know that they are here. Oh, really? And then we have, we have others who want to communicate with their children. Mm -hmm. So we encourage the other one to communicate with their children as well, mm -hmm. so that they can be able to build that relationship. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine that the other one who does not want to see their children Ash. or to communicate with the children, staying here for 10 years, oh. and after 10 years they want to build their relationship while they are yeah. outside there with their children. They are strangers to their children. Yeah. And then it, it becomes another problem. Mm. You understand? Yeah. Sure. Do they, do they, do they allow uh, uh, kids to come visit uh, the fathers in, in prison? Is it allowed? That one, it goes uh, the police. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and that one, I can't disclose, I can't oh, okay. say, but okay. uh, there is some policies. I do, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. That one can clarify. Okay. So, when I, as, a, as, a, as a social worker, um, your, your, your job is to help to correct some of the mistakes whilst they, they are in prison so that when they get out into society they are, they are able to get back into normality I, I suppose um, um, so for me what, what, what's, what's interesting is, is, is the dynamic of having you, you you almost living in two worlds yeah. your world outside with your family and then another world inside here do you do you have a, a a a relationship with some of these fathers who are who are in prison? Do 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 you have that relationship where they they talk to you about their pains and their struggles and their challenges of not being able to access um, their kids? Yes, I can say so because remember, our office we are the one whom 
interact or come between them and their families. Yeah. Mostly when they express challenges, yeah. they run to our office. Okay. That's why I, most of them, they are open to us. I can see more than anyone else. Because remember, we have a, the policy in place, even our counselor, that encourage us to keep confidential in all the times. Yeah. So that's why you find that they trust us in most cases mm. in terms of sharing their information. Mm. So that's why we, we, we end up building that relationship whereby sometimes we allow them to, to use our phone. Mm. You find some, maybe some they don't have even the access to communicate with their families. Yeah. Some they don't know where they are, where about of their children. You find that the child ran away from their mothers sure. and they need our help. So we end up building that relationship in order to understand their own world. Mm. Remember, this is a functional community, yeah. as you said, and we have the other community outside there, the which we are living in. Mm. So, mm. all those two communities, we need to balance them. Sure, sure. In terms of taking them to another group in another world or the other communities yeah. while they are inside. What's inside? Is your, is your father still alive? No, he passed on in 2007. How, how old were you? I was 23 years yes. old. How was, how was the relationship with your father? Me and my father, we were so so close while I went when I went to high school. Yeah. Because while I was at primary school, he was here in Houghton. While I was at Limpo, okay. at Jilongo Village. Yeah. So when he came back after when he went back home for the pension, yeah, we became close because remember I was the last born, mm -hmm. and then while I was the last born, he spent most of the time with me mm. because my my siblings. They were old. Oh, okay. Most of them, they, they, they so came here. So there's a big here. gap between you and your siblings. There's a big gap. Yeah. There's a big gap. Because my old, my father, the years that is written on the ID book is 1920. Sure. And then the, his original years for sure is 1920, 1918. Sure. So I was the last born being raised by this old man. Sure. You understand? Yeah. yeah. And then how how uh, are you raising your sons, your two sons, differently from how your father raised you? I can say not that much difference. Yeah. Remember, because my father, he was a strict. Mm. As so, I you, so you're strict? I'm strict to my children because yeah. as you are working here, even, mm. even if you can ask anyone, we automatically become strict because mm. you don't want your children to express the, 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 the challenges that the other people are expressing. Ah, I get you. Because when you are with them, communicating with offenders most of the time, mm. they, will take, they, will, they will share with you about their upbringing. Mm. And then when you check their upbringing, you realize that most of the things was caused by the influence of the community or the society. Mm. So, and you are afraid to your children to be like that. Yeah. So it becomes tricky, you yeah. want to keep them with you. you see it every day when you come mm. to work. Mm. And you don't want that, them to be on the other side yeah. of the world. Hey, and then you, be, and you become like in the community like this kind of person who's tricky even to your neighbor children. Yeah. And then some people, they don't understand because they think that they are living in a democratic society yeah. whereby the child can do as they please. Yeah. But when you have this thing that you know that if you can leave the child to behave like this, it will end up like yeah. that. And then the you consequences. Make, and then you create enemies to yourself in, yeah. in your neighborhood because you are this kind of person where you honor yeah. when the listener lives. But at the end of the day, when you are trying to, to protect them. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay, two questions before I finish. Um, your father is late and may his soul rest in peace. Is there anything that you, you, you wish you had said to him whilst he was still alive that you didn't have an opportunity to, to say it? And if, if whatever that thing is, can you say it to him in, in, his, in his absence? Because his spirit still lives. Yeah. The only thing that I can say to him, or thing that I can say to him, yeah. even to wish he Mm. He lives in Namina, near mm. and say so. Mm. Even if you can check in my status in Facebook, I like to name myself King Charlie the Second, King Charles the Second. Right. So now I, I regard him as a King Charles the First. Ah, because he's the king, he's the original. Uh, mm, not original king, but the behavior yeah. was the kingship a, a behavior. Mm. So I can say to him that he raised me well, he was a good father to me, and then yeah, he did his best. Yeah to make me the man whom I am today. today. Because the guy was strict. Yeah. And then if you didn't do it according to his way, uh, I'm yeah. going to come Sure. I'm Sure. Yeah. Have you, have, you ever, have you ever told your father you love him? You know, 
as I said, my father was an old man. Yeah. And then I never say so. If yeah. I can say so, you know, you just say it for to yourself to you say, you know, I, I love this old man. I, this but you've never man. said to him, I love him. Verbally, I never yeah. saw it. And so. has he said to you, I love you? Yeah, that one used to say so. Remember, I was, I'm from a big family yeah. whereby we have. Yeah. Yeah. He raised us to, you know, in, in, together with yeah. Yeah. But sometimes he used to call me in the corner when he reprimind us. Yeah. And he would beat us all of us on the or he would shout at us or say this and that to us. Yeah. But in the corner he would call me, one of them, I mean, I'm not treating you because of this and that and that. Remember wow. when you are my son, you are not like them. Wow. So when you that love, you realize that this guy. Yeah. So it showed it. Yeah. I'm yeah. according to my way. Yeah. So that's, that's why I copy from him with that. You know, when you raise your child, you need to do this and better. Yeah. Sure. Last question I have for you is uh, you've got two boys. Yes. Um, in 20 years' time, um, you might still be alive, you might not be alive. We don't know what life can uh, you know, throw, throw at us. What message would you like to send to your two boys um, that they can watch 20 years from today? Okay. This one was the last one. The beginning of the wisdom is to fear God. Yeah. That's the basic of life. And the Shumani, they have to start the basic so, so that they can be able to, to, to be informed about information. Mm. Study, it will help them to, even if they want to go to business and everything, but once they can have basics, Basic studies is where they can go to succeed, to succeed in life. I can encourage, I can say to them that about and then they must love each other, yeah. even to love the other people around them, yeah. so that they can be able to succeed. Mm. Yeah. Yo, thank you so much for your time, my brother. I really appreciate the, the perspective and context that you've given me. And you guys are doing a great job as social workers to try and do your bit in making sure that. Um, these fathers that are incarcerated, when they come back into society, they become a part of society and not become outskirts. Yeah. And I thank you for your time. Thanks, my brother. Yeah. 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 Don't believe a word they say. Turn around and walk away. Make your world a better stay. Listen to your daddy.